Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I want to tackle the question, how do I make money from my abstract art? So basically, this is kind of a two-part thing. I'm going to address kind of selling art uh, as a whole, and then I'm going to give you some practical steps that you can follow to be able to do that yourself, okay? So, in order to sell abstract art, really selling art in general or your creative works is no different than selling any other product, okay? It doesn't matter if you only create unique works, like like I only create unique paintings. I don't, um, I do, don't do prints in my work. Um, I have off and on throughout the years and then just kind of decided against it. Um, but even selling original items, you still would treat it like a business. So essentially, in order to make money from your art or your creative works, you have to basically treat it like a business. You have to act as if that thing that you're trying to sell really is a product. Because it doesn't matter if it's a unique one-time thing or if it's a mass-produced item. The formula for making sales or you know running a business essentially comes down to two parts. It's having a product and then promoting that product and then getting sales. There's there's really not any other major components. Yes, there's other parts to it, but marketing slash promotion is basically how you get those sales. So you create the product, you alone or you as a team or as a company, whatever. You develop the product. But once that product is done, if nobody sees it, then nobody buys. So essentially, in order to make money from your abstract art, you would have to, again, treat that like a business or any other product. You have to get it seen. So let's talk about kind of this thing as a whole. So you have your product. Let's say you're a painter like I am. You create paintings. So how do you make money from that? Well, obviously you would have to sell that painting or something, some derivative of that painting. And I'll get to that in just a second. But essentially you would have to sell something doesn't matter again if it's a digital item or a mass produced good or a unique item you have to have the product first okay once you have that product then it comes to you have to promote or market that product now promotion and marketing they kind of overlap they're a little bit different marketing is more like you're targeting to get the sale promotion you're just kind of getting the the awareness. So usually promotion is for like brand awareness, marketing is for sales. You kind of have to do both. But anyway, coming back to my point, how do you make money from it? Well, there's a lot of avenues you can kind of go about it. Um, so let's talk about first the first part of this where you would make it with derivative works. And then second, we'll talk about the actual product and selling a unique product or, you know, whatever it is. So the first one would be you know, selling through um, basically franchising it out or licensing it in some way or putting it into a place where you can create that one-time item into a multi-product product. So what am I talking about? Okay, so let's say that I took this painting right here. I took the image of that product and instead of just selling the painting, I then took that product and kind of licensed it out. Now, there's a lot of ways you could go about this. You could take that painting and you could sell it as wallpapers. You could take the picture of that painting and you could sell the prints of that painting as its own product. You could sell that product or the picture of that product as a stock photo. You could uh, put that image onto print-on-demand sites like uh, Fine Art America or something like that, which I've talked about in other videos. But you can take that and be, make, turn it into some kind of derivative work that you can branch out and make a ton of money from from one specific product. That's one way to go about it. So you, you basically take one thing and turn it into multiple streams of income by one product. This would probably be best for photographers or people, even if you paint and you want to use those images, you're okay with people having that image of your painting then you could turn that one product into multi-products by doing that. So you could, there's that road. There's, there's turning a product, you know, pictures of your sculptures or, or your paintings or, or the same thing that you see nowadays with uh, musicians. A lot of musicians are kind of getting noticed on like Spotify, right? Or uh, A-Tracks or some of these other, you know, music streaming sites like that because 
they're putting their their music out there they're kind of doing like a shotgun approach where they'll take one song and put it on six different music stores and you know they're kind of branching out horizontally and so you can take you know one product and branch it out into licensing type um, you know situations where you're gonna make money off of those license things of the original product so that's one way you can do it uh, where you take one item and turn it into many so it doesn't really matter kind of how you do that um, that works best with like musicians who can upload one song to many sites or again you can do it with like you know with paintings but not as much but you can take the picture of a painting and you could put that on print on demand products or you could sell that image somehow and make money off that so that's that's one way now let's talk about the other way and Basically, that's just selling the product as is. That's selling that sculpture. That's selling, you know, that one song to a record label or a company where that company is going to buy the rights to it and they own it. Or let's say you you create a small film and you want to sell the rights to that film. It doesn't really matter. If you create a single item, then you're going to kind of go this other route that I want to talk about. So there's first the the way of going multiple streams by taking that one thing and licensing out. Or you take that item and you just sell that item as is. So let's talk about in the realms of normal, um, probably the more normal situations of like painting. It's very easy for me to talk about painting. And you'll notice like I have a paint shirt on. I, uh, <laughs> I had a better shirt on, but I was like, you know what? It has paint on it, so I must be an artist, right? No, joking. I'm joking. Anyway, so let's talk about selling the actual product. All right. So now we get into promotion. And if you have a product that you want to sell, if you have a, even a, it doesn't matter if it's a unique product or a mass you know, produced product, in order for you to make money with that product, you've got to promote it. You've got to get it out there. You could have the best product in the world, and if nobody saw it, you'd make zero sales. And it's not always the best product that gets the most money. However, the best, like the better products tend to win in the end because something that's higher quality than average or something that has better customer service or, you know, whatever, the better products tend to win in the end because people tell other people about that product. So it doesn't really matter. What I would say about that is just make the best product that you can. There's no perfect product. Just make it as good as you can. Make it something that you're proud of, that you would show your family and friends and you, you're okay with being associated with that product. If you feel good about the product, then promote it. So let's talk about the promotion. All right, so if you're an artist uh, or a creative type who's creating creative things, then essentially how you make money from that, especially abstract art, so if you do abstract art and you wanna make money from it and you wanna sell the original product, what you need to do is promote it. So I'm gonna to talk to you, I'm gonna give you eight ways you can do that, although I'll probably forget some of them along the way just because I'm terrible. All right, so the first way, just simple, a site. So you, it's almost, oh, there's, I don't know very many people who have some kind of business that don't have a website, right? I know a lot of people that don't have a website, but most people do. Um, so I would say that if you have a product, obviously the most simple, straightforward thing I can tell you is build a site. Now, I can't tell you where to go. I use WordPress. Um, and I can put a link into the description. It would be an affiliate link to a hosting company that actually supports WordPress. So I can put that in there. Um, you can also use like Squarespace or you can sell uh, or you can use Wix. I, I haven't really used Squarespace or Wix. I just see a, a lot of people talking about them. So I have not used them. I just know that they're easy to kind of get started with. So you could use those, especially for just posting product like pictures of your products. Um, it's probably pretty simple to use. So I, I can't vouch for them. I only know they exist. And if I do have any links to them, um, if it's an affiliate link, I'll put a disclaimer. If it's not, I'll just say it's not. So again, I have I use WordPress, but that's just me. It's a little more advanced than say Wix or Squarespace. Next, you would want to have your work, if it's abstract art especially, in an online gallery. So an online gallery is something like Saatchi Art or ArtFinder. There's other ones, but those are two major ones. Saatchi Art is basically, it's an online gallery for art across the world. So I've sold paintings through Saatchi Art and I've had decent luck with them. 
Um, it takes a little while to get paid, but I mean, you're basically putting your art in a gallery online for the world to see. And what's cool about it is your art can get recommended with other people's art. So it's like if you're selling an abstract painting and other people have similar styles, you can get grouped into that. And here's the real kicker. If you can get into some kind of collection, it just makes you look even more valuable. So like I'm, I'm considered in a collection. I am in the collection for scraped paintings. And that is so cool because that gives me like a little badge basically that I can actually use elsewhere, right? And I can use it on my, you know, in my bio there, but I can also use it on my website or, you know, their curriculum vitae or whatever you want to call it. But basically, if you can get into a collection on something like that, that just gives you a little bit of authority. So that's really great. But anyway, something like Saatchi Art or Art Finder, these are just online galleries. So you basically just post the pictures of your work and you can even post photos or digital products, whatever. And people just buy it from that and then you make your money from that. So it's an easy way to get your art in the world without having a website. So you could go that route alone. However, I don't tend to recommend it or at least not doing that alone without having the website because the website, you can control the prices, you can control your promotions, you can control all that stuff. But on such art, I mean, you upload it for the price and then if they run discounts, then that comes off of how much you make. So it's, it's really up to you. I, I do both. So just as a heads up, I make more per sale from my own website, but such art is easy. I just upload it and then I package it. If it sells, I, I package my paintings according to their guidelines, which are fairly, they, they make a lot of sense because they want to protect the product and then ship it out. Okay, let's move on to another one. So another way that you can do this is social media. I mean, if you have that product and say you didn't even have a website, you just accept a PayPal or something, you could even, you know, post the pictures on social media, especially Instagram and Facebook. I feel like those are kind of the two major ones. So post the pictures of it and you could say, you know, just DM me for you know, information if you want to buy this painting. And then you could just create a PayPal link in PayPal, give them that link, and then they could buy it right then and there, like through the DMs, or, you know, you could send them to the link and they can go there and then they can buy it like that. Even if you don't have a website or Saatchi Art, or if you do have one of those, you can put those links in your bio uh, for Instagram and you just post pictures of your work. You do like close-ups or you do it on a wall or you do it, you know, staged or in, in the process of being made. What it really doesn't matter. You just post the pictures of it being made or you could record short video clips and put that on Instagram or Facebook as well, which leads me to my next one, which is YouTube. YouTube is so such an incredible tool and it's only it's only going to grow because people are watching more and more video content. I've realized this um, in my traffic. I get a lot more views from YouTube than I do traffic to my website. Right. And. And I have some organic stuff on there. I have a lot of links going to my website from different places. But what I'm trying to say is that the content that's mostly being consumed is here on YouTube. My point is, is that if you can record short video clips about your products, you know, like I post videos of me making the paintings. So it's kind of like a behind the scenes thing. Or you could just talk about art and then casually mention your products. You could, you know... You could just show the product after it's done. You could, you know, answer questions about the process. You could talk about yourself and then just kind of include it as a product. It doesn't really matter. My point is, is that using video is a great way to, to really promote your stuff because video content is only going to increase. The, the, the amount of consumption for video content is only increasing. So... I would, I would heavily suggest it. And I've had people that watch my videos and saw like the behind the scenes of the paintings that I made in that video and then had it, you know, either on my site or on Saatchi Art. And then they bought it because they got to see that whole process from beginning to end. And they thought that was cool. And I think that that's cool too, because it's part of the story of the piece and, and you as an artist. So we've got that. Next, you can post it into groups. You could go to like on Facebook groups. There's a lot of art ones out there and they let you post your stuff in there as long as you follow whatever their guidelines are per, per group. But Facebook groups are also a great way to get you know people to see your stuff. It's a free way. Um, I'm not going to say it's the best way, but it's a free way to do it and it's somewhere to start, especially if you use Facebook a lot. Just find some art groups, especially abstract art or paintings or whatever you do. Just find groups like that, and then you can start sharing your stuff as long as you follow their guidelines, okay? Uh, next, I mean, honestly, you could sell your stuff through 
uh, just other means online. Like you can find other websites where you can post your work. Like technically you could use Amazon or eBay to sell artwork. I haven't had good success with either of those, so I don't recommend it personally. But there's a lot of sites where you can, you know, put that stuff out there and stuff like that. Um, lastly, I mean, just for the whole internet thing, I mean, just getting your stuff onto sites where it can be seen is the biggest thing. Pinterest is another great one. Um, gets me a lot of traffic, actually. Pinterest is great for visual art because visual art, they can see it and then they can share it with other people, especially if they have a uh, board with, you know, a bunch of followers. It's a great way to get seen. Again, it's just kind of branching out and getting that stuff out there. So those are some ways. I mean, honestly, if you don't want to do the whole online thing, if you're like a, afraid to kind of post your stuff online, I would say you kind of have to get over that. You know, I wasn't comfortable on camera until I did it dozens of times. And then after I had recorded dozens of videos, now I'm just like, all right, let's just shoot this and get it over with. Not that I don't like it or anything, but I'm just not afraid to be on camera anymore. I don't care if people make fun of me. I don't care if... If they don't like the video, oh no, they gave me a thumbs down, whoa. Anyway, my point is, is that if you don't want to do it online, if you don't want to kind of push it out on social media or, you know, platforms where you can get those pictures or video clips seen by other people or in an online gallery, you can kind of go the other route where you can sell locally. Um, so a few tips for that. I mean, obviously there's like art fairs and art shows. I live in Arizona and we have First Fridays in Phoenix. So the first Friday of the month, they do like art fairs, you can rent a booth, um, and then you can put your art up and you can sell it on the side of the road. And so people have booths lined up on this one street um, in Phoenix where they just sell art. You know, just people, there's musicians selling CDs and there's, you know, there's sculptors, there's painters, there's all these people just selling their art up and down the street. It's, it's pretty cool, it's interesting, it's really loud. But anyway, you know, art stuff like that, art fairs, you could do art shows, stuff like that. Get yourself entered into stuff. A lot of them are not, a lot of them are either free or they're, they're manageable costs, like under $100. Depends on if you're getting a booth or if you're just showing up at like a little show. I digress. My point is, is you could always do that locally. So some other suggestions I have for you that are not internet based is one, you can try to get into a gallery. I say gallery and not museum because Museums are almost impossible to get into unless you're really good or your work is worth a lot. So, but usually you can find galleries, just find galleries of similar work and try to submit your stuff to that and see if you get in. You know, a gallery is a great way to kind of get exposure, get people to see your stuff. The problem with galleries is that they take half usually of your sale and you are responsible for getting it there, taking it back when it doesn't sell, stuff like that. So. You just kind of have to consider that there's there's a lot of great posts out there about being in a gallery and i have not been represented by a gallery so i cannot vouch either way just a suggestion the last thing i have for you is probably one that i would suggest if you're just trying to get rid of the art and you really don't need a lot of money for it is you could sell it locally through let go um you could sell it on OfferUp. You could sell it through Facebook Marketplace. I don't recommend Craigslist because that site has just gone downhill. But you can sell it locally through things like that where, you know, you're just selling. You just put the picture, small de description, and move on. And you just post your art on that. And I've had people... I've had people talk to me about it. And then, like, when I tell them the price and even, you know, willing to go down some, they just don't seem interested. So I see, like, that's really good for mass-produced items. I'm not saying it can't work, so not advising that it doesn't work. It just hasn't really worked out for me. So ultimately, the way that you the way that you make money, you know, coming back to that whole question, how do I make money with my abstract art? You make money with your art the same way you would any other product. You get that product and you put it in front of people. It doesn't matter if you go kind of the licensing way or you're putting it on stock photo sites or you're putting that music out in music sites or you're taking that video clip and you're putting it on video sharing sites or if you just take that original product and you put it out for real in front of real people on social media or the internet somehow. Oh, one thing I didn't talk about and I meant to talk, I told you I was gonna forget. Here it is, This is, I knew I was forgetting something. Here it is, ads, okay? so. Facebook and Instagram ads, if you know what you're doing, you'd have to look it up and kind of research it, but you can make, you can get exposure or sales through Facebook ads or Instagram ads. I don't use them because 
again, I haven't seen a lot of results. I'd get a lot of like likes and views and stuff like that, but I didn't make any sales. I spent not a whole lot, less than a hundred, but just testing it out to see if anyone would sell. And I'd sell like medium price points. It can work. I haven't used it, but it is another avenue to try if you want to kind of the, 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 good thing about using ads is that you can target stuff. So you can target specific types of people or you can just target people in your area. You can target people within certain price range of like their their income based on how what they where they work and stuff like that. Or you can just you can target based like if you're on Instagram, you can target, you know, on these types of posts or these celebrities or what it doesn't really matter, right? My point is is that ads are another way to do it. Ads are great because they work really fast. So you can kind of give results really fast if, if people are seeing your stuff, if they like it, if they're engaged, um, or if they buy. However, I don't use ads. I just kind of push content because I really believe in that. And I apologize for my dog's barking. But anyway, that's it for the video, okay? I really hope that it helped you a lot. Here's, I sell the most, okay? I'm gonna tell you how I sell the most. I sell the most on Saatchi Art because it's an online gallery. And I sell the most through my website. Okay, I have sold through Facebook, just posting stuff. Hey, I'm just putting posts out there about my stuff. I have sold some that way, but not a lot. Um, sounds like my kids are my kids are closing in, so I gotta go. Anyway, hopefully that helped. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.